Welcome to another Nintendo NX video on the channel. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button if you do go on to enjoy this video. But recently I have kind of taken a step back from reporting on certain rumours like hardware rumours. I haven't really talked about a lot of the rumours that have been knocking about recently. Like the stuff from Emily Rogers recently, haven't really talked about that. But I'm thinking that I might actually start reporting on rumours again. Just because I'm seeing a lot of people talking about fake leaks. And I guess the main example of that is the recent Foxconn leak. You know, that image that was knocking about. Supposedly it was from the same guy that has leaked the PS4 Pro from. Um, Foxconn, but NeoGAF soon debunked it, apparently um, that image as well as a few details that person gave was from a Chinese forum ages ago if I'm not mistaken and apparently it was just some Chinese people just speculating on what the NX could be, pretty much what we're doing right now and apparently somebody came up with that mock image and pretty much people have ran away with it and some people have said that it is the same person that leaked the PS4 Pro from Foxconn but apparently NeoGAF debunked it. I might have got that bit wrong but I do know that it has been confirmed that it is fake and I'm seeing a lot of people even a few days after the fact that NeoGAF confirmed it was fake I'm seeing a lot of people reporting on it as it's fact like it's oh yeah this is it this is the NX, it's coming from Foxconn, oh my god it's a major leak even though it has been confirmed fake and I guess my main message to my fellow YouTubers out there is do your flipping research, it's not hard, all what it takes is just a few seconds and then you get the full facts because these people that are treating these leaks as you know major leaks, oh my god this is actually happening, this is real it's passing on misinformation to the public and that will lead to you know people having unreal expectations and I'm going to talk about this in a future video I'm going to ask the question can Nintendo NX live up to the hype because you know people who do watch these sort of videos do get the wrong idea because these people are mis misleading people with the titles to start off with like whenever a rumor knocks about you see people say Nintendo NX major league huge Nintendo NX amazing new news oh my god Nintendo NX more revealed and it's just talking about a rumor but because people saw that title people are taking these rumors as facts so people are having the wrong idea of the NX and it's just causing people to have unreal expectations for the NX so people are expecting the NX to be a flipping hybrid with PS4 like power but will not cost more than $250 that's the sort of unreal expectations I'm talking about but that is that is for another video um, but yeah I, I might report on rumours just to actually make it I don't know just to actually report on the truth and not actually you know report on fake rumours if it is fake then I don't know I might just make a video saying why it's fake or pretty much what I'm saying here is if I do decide to make more rumor videos if I do have the time to make more videos than just my normal discussion videos that you have seen recently such as me talking about the fact that I want to see a GameCube virtual console on the NX and I talk about some of the launch games that I think would be good for the NX like Outlast 2 like Ghost Recon Wildlands but if I do have the time to make other different videos like the rumour videos then pretty much what I'm saying here is that I will do my research unlike some of these people knocking about in the community and that is totally shots fired and I think it needs to be said people need to do the research and yeah the, the evidence is there up on YouTube pretty much. Um, you know, I'm not just making this stuff up. People are reporting on fake rumours and treating them as being real, and I don't actually notify people that it is actually fake afterwards. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's causing people to have unreal expectations, and 
this is a nice segue into something which I noticed yesterday. Um, pretty much Tesco, a UK retailer, posted a um, Nintendo NX listing, but it's, it is quite clearly a placeholder just because the title said Nintendo NX Wii U and the release date was the 31st of December 2016. Well, we know that isn't correct because we know that the NX from Nintendo themselves is coming out in March 2017 and the reason why it's coming out in March 2017 is because the games aren't ready to come out any sooner. This was confirmed by Tatsuma Kimishima. It seems that people have had some sort of memory loss since then, back in May, um, when that got announced. But a lot of people are treating, you know, it had a price listing of £350. Some people are freaking out at this moment in time because people are doing a straight conversion to dollars. Oh my god, that's $450! That is way too expensive! Oh my god, if it's a hybrid 720p, oh my god, that is way too expensive! Well, first off, we don't know if those rumours about the NX being a hybrid is true or not. So, people are freaking out. People are basically jump jumping to conclusions. People, like I said before, are treating these rumours as facts. Like I said earlier, maybe these people have been watching some of these people. And maybe because... These titles of these videos like I say Nintendo NX amazing news and maybe um, you know people are treating this sort of stuff as fact and if I do decide to make rumour videos going forward then I might actually put those sort of titles in the title just because that's what people seem to click on. But what you will see me do if I do decide to make those type of videos is actually mention the fact that it is a rumour and it should be taken as a pinch of soul. People just don't I know people obviously click onto these videos title Nintendo NX Major Leap because let's be honest we we are we are all first there for NX information so people want to get the inside scoop, people want to hear that sort of information so yeah, if I do decide to make those type of videos, then I might actually put those sort of titles in the title, just because that's what people are clicking on. But what I would do is actually inform people, not like some of these people that are treating these rumours as fact. I'm seeing a lot of people misleading people out there. But yeah, I'm, this I, d I didn't really want this sort of thing to go on for that long. Um, what I do want to talk about, obviously, is the price. People freaking out at this moment in time. Um, but it's a placeholder and it should be treated as a placeholder at this moment in time. People are treating this as fact. People are freaking out at this moment in time. Oh my god, Nintendo, oh, you, you're flipping going to die if you come out at that price. If you're going to come out with a system weaker than PS4 at that price. Now, I think that price is reasonable if it is, if the NX is a hybrid, just because you are getting a home console and a handheld rolled into one device. I've always said for the longest time that that sort of device would be expensive, but it wouldn't cost $450. I don't think you can just do a straight conversion just because the PS4 Pro over here in the UK cost three three hundred and fifty dollars but I know for you guys in North America it costs four hundred dollars so they will do probably the same thing here where it costs three hundred and fifty pounds in the UK but for you guys in North America the NX would cost three uh, four hundred dollars but it's a placeholder because like I said the date is wrong it's called Nintendo NX Wii U for a start so yeah it's just a placeholder but one thing I want to talk about, and you will see me put this in the title, is is this potential evidence for a Nintendo NX reveal happening quite soon. I don't know if you guys watched my video last week where I talked about some of the rumours about the NX reveal. I gave you my thoughts on that. And basically, one of, one of the rumours knocking about was that a load of retailers were heading over to Nintendo of Europe for an announcement in you know, in the coming days pretty much that's what the rumor was knocking about um, last week and pretty much I said towards the end of that video maybe it is NX related maybe these retailers are coming over to 
Nintendo of Europe to get the NX information so that they can create these web pages like ready for when the NX reveal does happen. They can soon put up their pre order pages straight after the reveal so that they can get business pretty much. What I'm basically saying in this video is is this the first sign of this happening? Like maybe Tesco have set up a Nintendo NX page. Maybe they didn't want it to go public, but maybe they are setting this NX page up like in preparation for a NX reveal that could be happening over the next couple of weeks. Or maybe they might just be like seeing the buzz surrounding the NX. Maybe they just want to get clicks on their website. Maybe it is just like somebody from their social media team just basically creating a Nintendo NX listing but like I said maybe it could be the fact that maybe retailers are starting to prepare for a Nintendo NX reveal just gonna leave you leave you that I can't even flip and speak but I'm just gonna leave that with you and basically it's up to you to you know have your say in the comment section do you think it's just maybe a retailer like just putting up a Nintendo NX listing off their own back or maybe it is related to what happened last week or supposedly what happened last week apparently retail is flown out to Nintendo of Europe so do you think that is related to that and do you think that is a sign that a Nintendo NX reveal will be happening soon tomorrow on my channel I will be coming out with my Nintendo NX reveal theory my thoughts on when I think the NX reveal when it will be happening has changed over the last week or so and that will be posted tomorrow on my channel but this is a long winded video I didn't really want this video to go on for this long and just because I do have to go out later on so I'm going to have to upload this video quite early because I do have slow flipping internet um, and it's going to take me ages to upload this video but yeah that is pretty much all I have to say if I do have the time, then I might report on these rumours, but if not, then it's pretty much this series is just going to be discussion-based. Major like, the majority of this series anyway is discussion-based. You only have to look at the series playlist to, just to see that the vast majority of the videos that I have posted up on my channel about the NX is discussion-based. Is just me speculating on that like, potential stuff happening, or me just giving ideas on stuff that I want to happen, but... Yeah, maybe I might post these rumours just to inform some of these people. And just because these people that are clicking onto these videos are getting misinformed. And it's just causing people to have unreal expectations. But that is going to be leading on to a video which will be coming out on Friday. Just because Thursday I will be posting the latest episode in the Q&A series which I am about to record now. So yeah, that's just it for this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. And as always, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. And yeah, I'm just, I can't wait to get a flipping NX reveal date now. And yeah, of course, when we do get that, get, get that information, of course, we'll bring that to you, to you on my channel. It's time for me to press that stop button because I'm flipping stuttering. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.